Howdy folks and welcome back to another ugly dog lure challenge. Gonna be doing the Patrick challenge today. Hey, uh, I gotta get my spectacles on. Uh, he wanted to see something done with copper. On a green and white. So, uh, he, 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 he. We're gonna do a little suspending 95 millimeter jerk bait. Look what I got. Stencils. Yeah, I told y'all she let me have them. So. Did you even know I ordered them? Nope. Nope, so then we're going to be fun, so let's might as well just jump right on in here. Uh, we're going to paint this bait green, leave the belly on it white, and then we're going to do some copper on it. So, something different. Uh, i got to even open this copper. I hadn't even opened it yet. I guess everybody fared through the weather pretty good, I hope. We did okay here. It was cold, but we made it. Dude opened up. Ooh, look at that copper. That's pretty. Good lord. Get them all shookied up here. Our hunter green is in the neatest paint. Uh, I've been having some guys ask me how I get away with the uh, deco art mixing and all of that stuff. And there, I'll do a video on that. So, uh, he also said that, uh, copper green hunter and white, you can choose other colors if you get an ideal. As you go, P.S. Wife says you can dang sure use glitter. So, we will. We'll use some neon glitter in that. So, this is going to be a fun little paint. It's something different. I don't use a whole, whole lot of copper, but but we'll just jump right on in there feet first and get her done. Well, let's mix our green up. Good old hunter green. Pretty nice color hunter green is. We don't need a whole, whole lot of that. General rule of thumb when you're mixing these cheaper paints from Walmarts and uh, Hobby Lobbies and Michaels or wherever you buy your paint is if that paint will flow easily down your finger it will run through an airbrush and I can already tell you that that is too thin I don't even have to Run it down my finger. Just add a few more drops to it. Thicken it up. A little bit there. And I use a 4012 reducer. You see how that's running? Down that finger? I don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of an odd little thing but that's generally it'll run right through your airbrush if it'll do that with no problems at all folks so uh, we're going to be using our Iwata HPCS today and we're going to run about we're running about 15 pounds of air pressure is what we're running there well, let's just jump on in here with this uh, garbage can I'll quit grabbing my air hose and start laying that green on. And we'll probably do two coats of this green on this bait. Get that nose from it. Pretty thin coats, and uh, here we go. So 
what I want you folks to do is uh, send in a challenge for my wife. And let her do a challenge, Lou. Why are you picking on me today? I just want you to do one, huh? I think you do. I do it. challenges with you. We'll do St. Patrick's. While that's drying, or we can get another coat on it and darken it up even more. That's a pretty color. I remember back in the day, you didn't have your house painted hunter green. You was not living in the right neighborhood. You remember that? Uh, we lived in one that was tan and hunter green. Yep. And then it went to gray and navy blue. Yep. <laughs> then it went to brown. Pink and white. And then it was brown. Brown and tan. Now the new craze is black and gray. Change the battery pack. I'm just telling you what it just it just flashed. No well, folks, we're back. Gonna finish up the Patrick challenge here. Gonna go with our copper and we got our new stencils we just got in and let's play. That's a pretty pretty copper. Don't know if y'all folks can see that very well, but that's pretty. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, come here, Bob. Give me a stick. Bob keeps taking my sticks away. From neglect, because you don't pay enough attention to her. Probably. I hadn't been around paying no attention here lately. So oh, folks, I'm very excited. Spring's on its way. Now I hope. Can't wait. Get to the lake. Do some filming on the lake. Introduce y'all to some of the lakes in New Mexico. Let's do the old finger test. See, it's a little bit heavy still. Now this uh, copper is a metallic copper. I love me some metallic paints. She's getting where she needs to be now. she goes. Cool. Let's get us some poured up in our little brush here. We don't need a whole lot. So. Wow. That is pretty. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, if we can slap this little stencil on here. Stencil off a little bit. We'll jump to the other side, and I think that I'm going to copper right around his eyes too. I think I'm going to do that.
Never had stencils like this before. But they're kind of fun to play around with. Especially doing these challenges. To this bait, I think it, it needs it. So uh, it's going to be copper. And it's not going to be a whole lot. It's just going to be a down the back thing. Right down the back. But I'm going to wrap it. And then just bring it right to the top of these lines right here. Going up that pattern in the side. That's what I'm going to do. So let me cut me some stuff. Some tool. Uh, anybody that wants to know where I find the tool, the only place that I have found it is at Joann's. Can't find it at Hobby Lobby or none of those places. It was Joann's. It's Spider Lace Tool. Spider Lace Tool. Yeah, yeah, I just kind of want to add a little bit more to this little bait here. So we're going to wrap it. And spray it lightly right up the top with that copper. bit more to it it'll be pretty of course I'd fish it but anybody that knows me knows I'd throw anything don't matter to me so if you have a YouTube channel and you want me to give you a shout out to my people, I'd be glad to do that for you. Uh, just leave in the comments below and uh, we'll get with you and figure out what we want to do. <laughs> That'd be an easy one. Yeah, so I'm thinking about this, folks. I think I'm going to change that top color and get away from the copper. You do black? Mm hmm. That's what my metal mind tells me, but everybody knows my mind's a little bit warped. A little bit? Hey, you don't need to be mean. A lot of it. So, let me just clean that out good. I think I'm going to use obsidian. That's what I'm going to use, which is a cool color. To go over that with little bit of obsidian and just right up into the copper just a hair booyah obsidian so you already had that in mind you had it laying there hey hey i've been out here painting what are you being mean to me for because it's fun a little bit of obsidian which is kind of a silver black is what obsidian is before I get chewed out because I didn't tell what color it was so. and the obsidian is a deco art and it's an extreme sheen paint is what it is so that means it's metallic so no finger test there it goes I don't need much over five or six drops. I ain't doing a whole lot on it. want it to fade down here, right down into that copper just a hair and we'll get that face a little bit up around those eyes heat set that pull that off and call it almost ready for glitter since he gave Melissa permission for glitter oh, 
Way to go, Patrick. Good to know somebody has my back. And you'll see the the hunter green still pop up from underneath this. Get that out of my way. See the hunter green? I don't know if you folks can see it, but it's sure popping in there in that obsidian. It's really going to pop once that we put the epoxy on it. Good looking bait. I'd fish it. Okay. Now for some messed up eyes. Hehehe. <laughs> I did order more eyes, buddy. I got 300 more coming. No, 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 no. I think this dude's gonna certainly have to have red eyes. That's what my thoughts are. I think red will look very good on him. I use a lot of eyes. what y'all see me paint on the YouTube is only about a small fraction of what I do paint. Sometimes I'll get out here and paint 20 or 30 lures the same pattern for the website and for shows and different things. So, and I like it. I like every minute of it. Cool. Look what I think. I found some old brushes. Okie dokie. Well, I guess it's time for some epoxy. Hang this bad boy up over there to dry. So let's just get us some epoxy out here and get it mixed up, ready to go. <clears throat> Come here, epoxy. Well, I guess I better clean this brush right quick. And I hope Mr. Patrick likes it. A little bit different, but that's okay. That's what we're about, ain't it? Making different stuff. And doing our own thing and going our own way. So. Well, I've been asked if I would make a traditional bait. Yeah. I will. So one and one on this bait. my fish if you're a new subscriber if you are a new subscriber I just want to welcome you to the channel uh, we do all kinds of crazy different stuff here so uh, just welcome be sure to like subscribe and share and hit that notification bell for new videos we uh, usually put out three videos a week uh, Monday uh, Thursday and Saturday uh, the second Saturday of every month we do a live feed we got all kinds of fun things that go on around here. There's a little bit of glitter in there, Miss Mr. Patrick. Throwing some epoxy on it. Now the epoxy that I use is a BSI, and it's a 4500 psi epoxy. I used to use DevCon, but I changed. For my own personal reasons, I changed it. So, but me and the wife, we have a ball out here doing this. And I think the best part is of it is the interaction and all the cool people that we've met. They are some very, 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 very talented artists out there painting lures 
to submit a challenge just go to the uglydoglures.com and hit submit challenge when you get on the website and submit your challenge there and then if you're willing to pay the shipping I'll send you your lure that you made the challenge out of me uh, you pick the colors I pick the type of bait you pick whether you want glitter or not so uh, please submit me more challenges I have a really cool one coming up called melted banana split that's going to be fun, fun, fun. Then my daddy will take my T-bird away. So. But what I'm doing now, folks, is I'm going back over my bait. And I do this two or three or four or five times. Depends on what I see when I'm doing it. Making sure there's no hairs out of the brush because they will come out. Even on the really expensive brushes, they'll come out. So... Well, I'm just going back over it to make sure that it's all smoothed out good. And I use uh, drip hooks on my baits. So I don't put them on the wheel. You can. I don't have nothing against it. And we've thought about building one. We mean uh, the wife have talked about that. But once that I get my bigger shop, that might happen. Because there's just not a whole lot of room in here for... Uh, Anything. Anything. We're just talking more. about how crowded it is. We got too much stuff in here now. Well, there you go, Mr. Patrick. Looky there. That's a pretty nice looking little bait. That's pretty. I really like that copper color. That copper's pretty cool. It's not it not as dark as that big thing of copper I have. No. This one's called copper penny is what the name of this copper is and you can see in the obsidian see the little bit of green popping through mm -hmm. yeah you sure can so there you go mr patrick there's your bait and i made it into a jerk bait i think you could probably fish uh just about anything with that bait i would whatever's biting so you folks have a blessed day and i'll catch you later Thank mm -hmm. you.